generally through the newspapers, uh, the Edmonton Journal uh, primarily. Well, there's newsletters that come into our area. Uh, I know that when my mom lived in the north side in the Dalton area, there was a newsletter, but basically that's it. Or you read the news, but there's not really anything else that... Maybe the city website sometimes. If you want to catch the first 15 minutes of the news, you would catch the most popular events that are going on, you know, at least in the city or, you know, around the world. So that's, you know, my preference anyway. Then I definitely go to the website, if it was easy to find. If it was something I was interested in, yeah, definitely through the website. Like, so if you get it through the mail or a flyer, you know, that could just be, you know, a lot of people tend to toss that out or not pay much attention to it. Something that someone could pick up and say, okay, well, this is what's going on in your city right now, as opposed to having to be proactive and find the information yourself. If you want to communicate ideas that, you know, are going on in the city and see what your representatives are doing for you or not doing for you.